The American Association of University Women says that less than 15% of engineers in the entire country are women. That number has really improved over the years, but it's still just a small percentage of women in the workforce. The now KC's Mackenzie Nelson takes a look at how the Grandview School District is now trying to change that. Science, technology, engineering, and math. None of which were the fields of study Cheyenne Sandoval-Williams ever thought she'd be in. There we go. I wanted to do theater. I really thought I was going to be like a backstage producer, theater star. That quickly changed. This is sort of my masterwork. After skimming her first coding textbook. Now I know like three or four different languages. And it's crazy to know that uh, this has all been within the span of three years. Wrapping up her junior year at Grandview High School, Cheyenne's helping bring more girl power into the classroom. Cheyenne, um, remember her name because you'll you'll hear about it again in the future. For several years, the district has been working to expose more young girls to STEM. Now, every elementary, middle, and high school has a robotics program. Kids can't be what they can't see, so if they don't know about the opportunities that are available to them, it's, it's very unlikely that they're going to be able to be that when they grow up. Just three years ago, the high school started an all-girls engineering class in hopes of kicking stereotypes to the curb. A classroom that once had only three girls now has more than 20. As I really do believe every girl in that classroom could be an engineer, an architect, a programmer, anything that they want to be, but knowing that they've started out here and they're no longer intimidated to begin with, they know that they could pursue it further. For girls interested in a male-dominated career field, Cheyenne has one message for you. Don't doubt yourself. You're a lot stronger than you think. From theater to robotics, Cheyenne's success stems from what's now the high school's most popular class. In Grandview, Mackenzie Nelson for the Now KC. What a cool story. Just a few weeks ago, Cheyenne was one of only 10 students in the entire country to be selected for First Robotics Team's Dean's List Award. On Wednesday, she gets to travel to Houston for the chance to be an international winner.